So today is the day where I finally test out my Rabbit Ear handlebars. The reason why I haven't done so earlier is because I've been waiting on a new battery. The one in my bike at the moment is dead flat and it's not holding a charge. And also what I've got here is a flush mount gas cap for Softail Street Bob models. And I know it's going to fit my Sportster because I have my old Softail Street Bob gas cap here which I've whacked in the tank and it has the exact same thread. So let's get this flush mount gas cap mounted and the new battery. Then we'll hit the road and test out these new bars. I'm going to apply some ice cold rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to rub it around the outer surface because this little trim will go onto the tank there. It's got double sided tape and I don't want any oil, wax or any residue being there and affecting that double sided tape. Screw it in, push it in, then turn it to lock it in place. Now the gas cap's in, I'm going to install this trim. And voila, Bob's your uncle. Now moving on to replacing the battery. I've just gone with a $180 AGM battery. All right, out with the old and in with the new. Now let's fire up the bike and test out these rabbit ears. God damn, this feels strange. One thing that I noticed straight off the bat is I can't really see my speedo as well as I used to with the A-Pinger handlebars. It's actually completely obstructed by the bars there. So I might have to just realign that a little bit lower. Yeah, I think it's a little bit too high at the moment. I haven't been for a ride since before Christmas. Just been waiting that whole time for a battery to arrive in the mail. Let's go around the roundabout and see how she handles. Not too bad. It's surprising because when I was sitting on this bike in the shed, obviously not moving around or just wheeling it around the shed with these bars, any little amount of input or force on the bars and they just wanted to fall to one side. But once you get a bit of momentum up and you're riding the bike, the bars don't want to fall to side to side when you're going to turn yeah it completely changes the feel of the bike i don't mind it it's quite different it's definitely going to take a little bit of getting used to but it's certainly a really relaxed riding position and this is where i notice the uh steering feels quite heavy when you come to a stop and you move the bars it, it's like they want to fall heavily to the left side or to the right side depending on obviously which way you tilt your bars so how does it feel at speed? Well, can't really see the speedo, but I am doing 100 kilometers per hour and yeah, it feels stable. She's not all over the shop, it's tracking pretty well. I guess the only real concern will be is if I hit a big ass pothole and there's plenty of them out this way. There is one thing you could probably do to help your bike feel more stable when hitting potholes and that would be installing a steering damper. I think the kit's like 500 bucks unless you get a cheap damper and make the mounting brackets yourself. Let's see how the bike handles poking through town at a low speed. Gotta love that clutch wheel. I know uh, rabbit ears aren't everyone's seeing, they're certainly a unique look, but the reason why I went with them is to achieve that chopper style and there's not a lot more I want to do to my Sportster 72 and that's why I went ahead and bought another Harley project and there's a video coming on that very shortly oh fuck that's soft ground and the bike is trying to fall heavily to one side all right I'm just going to park the bike up in here and reposition my GoPro to on my chest so you can get a good view of what the seating position looks like. Sure is looking nice. There's really not much more I can do to this bike. If I start uh, doing any more mods, it'll just be undoing what I've already done to it. All right, got the camera mounted on my chest. Let's get this show back on the road. Do my wrists hurt? Not at all. Like if you can see my hands, they're practically straight. It's 
so it's not as though they're curled around like this and I'm trying to fight against the bars to use the accelerator. They're super comfy. Yeah, that, that speedo really needs to be relocated. It needs to come lower and then angled back more towards me. It needs to be seen below the bars. That's the beauty of that Joker machine speedo relocation mount because you can move it in so many different positions to suit your visibility. So even though I have a really relaxed riding position, I will say the ride was more comfortable with the mini ape hanger handlebars which are on the bike previously. The ape hanger handlebars were just better suited for the ergonomics of this bike. You get more leverage on them, they're a lot more comfortable, but I guess that's the uh, price you pay when you want rabbit ears for styling. As I've joked before, it's a show bike, not a go bike. And yeah, the turning circle is definitely affected because your elbows are hard up against your body. You don't get as good a leverage on the bars to turn. And granted, I'm probably a little bit critical on these bars because obviously I was so used to the ape hanger handlebars. I think the more I get used to these bars, the more I like them. Another thing is you wouldn't be able to mount your stock mirrors on the controls because they'd be pointing directly into your shoulders. That's why I've gone with some Prism Triple Tree mount mirrors, which I'm currently waiting on arriving in the mail. Anyway guys, that's going to do it for this one. Thanks very much for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. See ya! <laughs>